Insignia um, is a bouquet of offerings for developers specifically targeted towards two categories of products or needs that they have. One is the visualization category and the other is the efficiency category. Overall, developers require products and technology help in four different uh, bouquet of things. One is data, other is marketing and sales, third is visualization and efficiency. Our core products, the leads products, serves the need for marketing and sales and we provide site visits etc. etc. there to add on as add on products there. Uh, what we when in our research and uh, talking to a lot of our customers what what we realized is there is a big area which we can really help uh, the our customers in which lies in the visualization uh, and the efficiency scheme of things so when i say visualization it means all of these developers generally sell their properties well are they pre-launch or are under construction so it, they really want to paint a picture of what they really are going to build here how it's going to feel and the entire experience of living in their their project they want to differentiate themselves from a lot of other projects that exist in the market and it's very difficult for doing that they do a lot of things at this point of time right from video walkthroughs to creating 3d models to uh, actually print, uh, printing large hoardings with these images etc the whole p point that they are trying to do is they are trying to create a visualization of the experience of living in their project so why, while we were uh, uh, digging deep in this particular sphere, what we also realized is that there is a lot of issues there. Mostly um, the, the sphere of work here goes to creative or uh, rather digital agencies, which actually take the basic floor plan and basic, uh, basic layout plan, etc. and create imag imagery on for that. Most of these assets that come out, the assets meaning the images, etc. that they come out are uh, completely scattered across multiple people's email boxes or uh, folders etc they change it so many times that the updated ones uh, who has becomes a challenge distributing this becomes a challenge keeping a track of it becomes a challenge in case they update something getting it updated across the web becomes a challenge then people who copy these ch or uh, save these on their own websites etc all of those do not get, get updated. So there are tremendous amount of challenges that happen because this comes as a service and uh, the output is not a output which actually uses technology very much. And they do not have much control on how it is getting distributed really well. So what uh, I realized is that there is a lot that can be done for them in this sphere of things where they can improve the way they are uh, getting their projects visualized and imagined and create an experience and not just a view for the their customers so that their, their customers can take better decisions, feel exactly what it is going to be. And that's where the entire category of products evolved. We also, also realized a lot of these challenges also led to efficiency related issues. One of the challenges, for example, is to keep a track of inventory, what is available, what is not available. It's a nightmare. So the sales guy, when he's on the ground, he really doesn't know exactly what are available today. He's given either a sheet of today's availability in Excel and then he goes and if he has to block something, he has to call back to the center, find out whether this is available and then do a blocking. It's a very, very tedious, tedious process. So all of these combined made us rethink on how we can utilize the technology to help uh, our customers really well. And we believe we have a set of products that are that are going to make life a lot easier, a lot more transparent, a lot more efficient and much more system driven, process driven than people driven. As I very, uh, in the previous question I had mentioned why Insignia exists, I will give you three important reasons why uh, a developer should choose common floor instead of what he is doing today. One, um, he does not have a, have a technology driven product today where he also get an understanding of analytics and data of what exactly is happening with his uh, assets. Second, he has to deal with hundreds of different kind of vendors. He doesn't get the source file. He doesn't know exactly what he doesn't know. He doesn't, he is always scrambling in case some information is asked to him. And right now it doesn't really work. It is similar to uh, him distributing. If he had to actually give out a video, 
him distributing that video to everyone and everyone downloading it and then playing it on their player etc does a lot of tedious things right you, today if you need to distribute the video you just upload it to youtube and pass on the link the youtube does the entire heavy heavy load load of optimizing it for uh, mobile making it really viewable may buffering really well working across devices across bandwidth and the creator of the video does not need to bother about any of those things so the same way technology can be used by the developers for their visual assets where they can actually uh, take this redistributable way of doing things from us and the assets any time he upgrades the assets the same up assets are upgra upgraded and reflected everywhere he is always up to date and all of these are very centrally controlled also more importantly the amount of money is the back and forth etc that happens today also goes down today he is working with service service companies who are charging him retainers the costs are very high the quality of work that comes out many a times is unsatisfactory he uh, if the people at his team leave in between the entire uh conversation gets lost etc so there are a lot of fragmentation challenges there are a lot of uh, overheads there are a lot of inefficiency in the way he is doing things if he do does things in this way end to end right from the assets visual assets that he needs to the technology the technologically de uh, deployed redistributable assets that he will get uh will upgrade him to a very very uh, developed uh, customer and he would actually be able to uh make, make the maximum of this these assets at the same cost that he is paying today and save more time and get more value in the terms of number of things that he can get out uh in the same amount that he, that he is paying today so in, in under insignia we will have a lot of those products the currently the uh, three products that we are actually rolling out and some complementaries with the, these are first and foremost we have common floor retina world's first virtual reality device for real estate it for masses um, it is one of the most important uh, innovation that has happened for the consumer to experience a property and not just view a property so second product is common floor celestial this is the first person walk through on web and eventually mobile for anyone for a floor plan so if i am a end user i want to understand the floor plan this is the best way to actually have a view of the floor plan the dimensions of that floor plan and take a complete walk through online without even having to visit that particular property so this gives gives a very very nice perspective of how the house is laid out and when the furniture etc would be there how he can actually navigate and how he can plan his home really well the third product that we are uh, very excited to roll out is known as home select home select is a combination of ability to book online in a very visual manner and manage the inventory it, ha it has both the unit selector the home select the where person can select the end unit or home that he is interested in see the availability see the payment plans and book online to also managing this inventory for the developer in a very transparent manner in a single place so this actually is both helping for efficiency as well as it is all going to help you uh, make make a online booking of home so these three category of products are there in a complementary fashion we also do 3d 3d floor plans 3d uh, uh, building plans layout plans etc on case to case basis uh, we we would exp expand this offering into a complete end to end offering from the from the pre launch time the developer can actually just come to us and uh, give us his cad file and from there on we can create all the assets in a very redistributable manner for him in in one single go and it will be really really beneficial for him to actually uh, get the advantage of the efficiency and the redistributability of these assets Retina actually provides the only way in some in which you can actually experience a property. So let me explain uh, what is virtual reality all about. Right, one is reality. The things that you see around you is the real reality of of things. Right, then you have augmented reality. Augmented reality is then you th there are things that you see around you. I can overlay information on top of it, 
so you will see the actual images of the loca uh, of everything and there is information overlaid in real time on the reality that is augmented reality then we have virtual reality so virtual reality is not a view so a lot of people get confused between a virtual reality and a 3 uh, 3d uh, walk through or a 3d image when you look at an image etc it is an outside perspective so if you are actually looking looking at something sitting here it is outside and it's a, just a view view or representation virtual reality is that you feel as if you are transformed from here to that particular location that is virtual reality when you actually move around you get a sense as if you are actually there and can see and visualize that particular location so virtual reality is experience and not just a view a person can interact in this experience he can see in the in the na natural manner uh, as if he was standing there and experience the entire property or project the way we construct it we help a developer visualize what he is going to build in that particular location and how it will feel once it get built for most normal average person it is it becomes very difficult to imagine and envision uh, the same thing but with retina any consumer can actually visual visualize and experience that property that the developer is going to build within retina we have three or four different kind of uh, assets that we build one is in case there is there is pre launch and the, there is nothing that exists we build a completely 3d model of the particular project and the particular floor plan and give a experience of the same to the end consumer that is fully 3d the second one is uh, even though nothing exists there is a possibility of you uh, a model flat that the developer would have created actual model flat developer can actually take this uh, model flat and create a virtual experience we can create a virtual experience for th for this particular property so instead of going there and visiting a model flat you can actually sitting at wherever you are you can experience the same model flat through this virtual reality device there is another uh, thing that you can do with reality real images which really helps you identify location where we take the technology of drones use that for a for a complete 360 view of that particular location and someone can experience the entire locality as if from that bird's eye view he is looking looking through the drone and experiencing how where the, the entire locality so it gives a very very good perspective of where the project is going to come out, come up what is nearby that particular project what the kind of views etc are and most people really appreciate specifically the nri customers or the customers that do not reside in that particular uh, particular city or reside very far and are on the edge should i go or should i not go gets a very clear picture of how this locality is today and what the potential looks like and there is also a hybrid view where we you take we take the actual images and build a 3d model on top of it to actually make you understand how exactly it is going to look once the project comes here So, uh, and within this hybrid view probably a view from a fourth floor or fifth floor balcony what it would look like so it is a tremendous advancement in technology in which you the developer can make his customer experience the property uh, as he wants the views that he be believes uh, believes would be really excellent for someone to really understand and the, the understanding of locality sitting wherever he is it helps the sales guy to actually sell really well because he can take all the projects that the developer is developing across the country and can pitch any of those since there is a guided voice guided tour in every project the best pitch for that particular project locality is already recorded into the system into the retina so even if you have a very newbie sales guy all he has to do is carry a retina and the price list along with it so this helps him actually sell lot better there is a consistent uh, message that goes to every customer the best message that the developer wants to communicate across about the property is being communicated to every customer when he experiences retina so this is a future technology it is very very imperative to help on the efficiency side of the sales as well as visualization of the property and the project for the end consumer so the the retina as a device
can be utilized in multiple formats. One, the benefit it, it runs on a mobile phone on an Android phone, uh, and uh, is can be always kept up to date remotely by through the app. Retina can be utilized uh, in three important ways from the developer's perspective. One, it can be utilized at the developer's marketing site and his main office, where people, can, all the consumers that are coming in, he can keep keep a cardboard box there or in fact there are various kind of cardboard boxes right from the cheap ones that start at 100 to 100 which are redistributable to some sturdy ones which are 1500 to 2000 which he can keep in his offices to the really really fancy ones like samsung gear vr which cost about 26000 so he the developer can decide based on the occasion where he want to showcase this uh, retina he can decide what kind of cardboard boxes that he would like to buy and uh, package it accordingly what he can really use it for for example in his marketing offices he can have these retina boxes the retina headgear along with the app and the mobile phone any consumer that is walking in in a particular project or in in the particular uh, main office of the developer can experience all the projects or that particular project how it's going to look in the future what is the plan how how and experience the entire feeling of living in or walking into that particular project the second thing second place that it can really be uh, used really well is the expos what we have seen is in the expos uh, after paying lakhs of rupees to buy a stall and try to do it really really fancy manner to attract more people there is very little for the end consumer to be engaged or attracted to uh, into a particular stall right so what Developers can actually do is use a television on which they can uh, attach a Chromecast. A retina from the Retina phone like a Nexus 5, you can directly screencast to that particular TV and use this device for all the consumers that are coming in. It creates a tremendous amount of engagement. So, for example, in the case of one of our customers, he created this sort of fiesta in his particular project. And in that particular thing, he put, put up a 50-inch television with Chromecast and had retina boxes connected to this television so when the when a couple or a husband wife and kid were there experiencing it the husband is wearing the retina and experience the property the the kid and the wife were actually pointing out the husband to look at this side or there the entire engagement that it built the way they felt about their uh, possible new home was very very exciting and the same can be brought to an expo where people can actually understand experience really well then the project that the way the project is going to come up and it's a very very big opportunity because the customer is anyway there exploring uh, the options that he is looking at the third and the regular use case could be uh, providing retina headgear to all their sales uh, agents the efficiency of the sales agent increases manifold and the pitch that you want to do for the customer is always the same so when a sales agent goes to a customer meeting he can actually showcase four or five different projects if you have those or at least convince the consumer really well why he should come and at least visit the site when he has, has an experience uh, of that particular project and looking at the, the drone view or the actual model flat through this it makes him compelled to come and experience that particular project uh, in first hand also so it helps this to in one sales efficiency second marketing and uh, site uh, site and engagement third engagement at the expos so it is a really really useful tool from that perspective see one oculus currently is not commercially available even if you're using it it's illegal second uh, oculus is a very bulky device needs to be connected to a particular uh, uh, system to be able to work third it is very costly uh, fourth it is costlier to develop for oculus at this point of time plus it has nauseating effect so all of these combined makes it uh, economically unreasonable to actually uh, use an oculus and instead of retina which is which works on any android high end android device can work work on a cardboard etc and it's completely street legal from that perspective
सो थ्री डी वीडियो मोस्ट डेवलपर्स एक्चुअली डेवलप एक्चुअली इट्स कॉस्टलियर जनरल एंड एवरेज अराउंड टू लैक्स पर मिनट इट कॉस्ट दैम टू क्रिएट अ वीडियो द वीडियो इज अ वेरी फिक्सड एक्सपीरियंस इट डजेंट गिव यू इनफैक्ट नॉट इट्स नॉट इवन एक्सपीरियंस इट्स अ व्यू एंड एंड कंज्यूमर कैन गेट जस्ट सिट देयर एंड लुक इट लाइक इट लाइक अ मूवी which is premeditated and there is no experience there is no engagement from the perspective of interaction and also costlier right whereas a retina or a virtual reality device like retina can give give him an immense uh, engagement when the consumer wears it he again and again would like to go and experience a experience a particular project particular uh, flat he will be able to do that and will be able able to spend as much time imagining how his life would be there instead of looking at a 2 minute or 4 minute video which just gives a single perspective so common floor uh, celestial is an attempt to actually help at an end consumer or the customer of the developer to be able to take a walk through sitting at home yeah, at at best as best as possible without having the virtual reality experience so what he can actually do is he can look at the different floor plans on offer he once he looks at those floor plans he will be able to understand them in 3d as well as 2d dimensions at the same time it's one of its kind where you are able to understand 3d and 2d at the same same visualization once he has had that understanding and he would like to imagine and experience a walk through a game like walk through or a real like walk through he can actually do it on the web the technology is one of the first in the country for be, being able to run scalably on the web and giving giving an experience for the end consumer to actually uh, understand how the floor plan is feels and get a very real perspective of that particular project or the particular unit that he is looking at so actually saying uh, celestial gives a tremendous advantage it also fills a big hole that is between the uh, 3d video that uh, they create uh, and the 2d floor plan there is no understanding in between of a particular floor plan how do someone visualize and spend time and engage and see whether that particular floor plan that unit will be very suitable so celestial provides a way for the developer to actually showcase the uh, finesse of the floor plans he is creating why someone should actually buy buy it it provides a, another uh, good reason because it gives you an experience of actually living there even in certain cases the compact homes uh, when they are well arranged it actually feels like okay this this home will have enough space for us and it's a very nice uh, and smartly done home so it provides developers a very nice understanding uh of the consumer behavior also through the way of analytics because it comes redistributable like celestial also has an advantage you can give it as a link like the way you give a youtube link to any of your partners and the same experience can be experienced across the web this way you control the entire experience of your end consumer on every particular floor plan uh and see what kind of engagement what kind of interest people are showing uh through various channels uh for your particular project particular floor plan so celestial is very different from regular walk through videos because regular walk through videos is a first uh, is a fixed perspective and uh, and no one can understand exactly or retrace his his steps in celestial the con the consumer the user is completely free and in most cases it's not a single person's decision so celestial gives a very very good way of uh, people coming together and interacting the husband and wife can look at the floor plan from multiple uh, multiple rooms etc take a walk through multiple times and discuss it again and again and if have they have question again revisit that particular point very quickly instead of getting a fixed perspective of particular floor plan so this really gives a more more uh, control to the end consumer in his experience of that particular floor plan so at insignia we are going very much closer uh, to the consumer or the customer of the developer and giving him a view uh, or ability to understand the floor plan and understand the particular project as per his needs and not a forced way of showing things
So home select uh, is an ability to book units online in a very simplest way. It gives a very nice 3D visualization of the entire project till the unit level availability of these units, the payment plans attached to them offers if any and an ability to book it specifically home select is differentiated from the perspective that it comes as a redistributable asset. It sits on a developer's own website and directly the money is credited to the developer when the payments are made. All terms are visible at uh, at the site when someone is making a payment. So it actually enhances the developers, the our customers uh, ability to interact with the consumers and book units online. It gives the basic infrastructure that is required for online booking, inventory handling and keeping a track of the consumers uh, already selected and booked units. So home select provides a complete single window uh, way of keeping a track of all the bookings and availabilities of a particular project at the developer's own website. And if he chooses optionally, he can redistribute it to his partners and uh, have bookings coming from there too. So home select is more of actually an infrastructure service, a platform service for the developers. Every developer will have book online require, will require this technology. Uh, in a very seamless fashion today the developers as we uh, discussed earlier build for every new project they build separately they use creative agency digital agencies not really technology agencies and every time this comes as a service and there's so many challenges so there are, everything is so broken we're using this technology everything is seamless it's just like a software as a service a platform as a service and for all his projects, he can have the similar kind of experience. For all his projects, he can expose the inventory online and be bookable online. Keep a track of all the bookings at any point of time. Keep a track of what's available, what is on offer. Also, when he shares it with the shares this particular uh, link to all his brokers, the brokers can put this on his website, on their own website. Have the bookings. Keep a track of all the bookings that they that they have given. And it makes things very, very easy for tracking the commission's perspective. In a very eventual steady state, it will be a single source of truth for all inventory. Uh, this will be the only place where people will come and book. This will be the front end for the entire CRM system that is sitting behind in any developer's uh, office, where all the inventory is exposed, all the units are blocked and availabilities are there at any point of time. This also importantly runs on mobile. None of the competitors, nothing today in the market actually runs on mobile really well. We believe mobile is the biggest uh, uh, technology that exists and this is future proof. For the developers, another big golden advantage is for one year during the course of uh, the first year, any update that is happening to the technology, all the optimizations come to them completely free of cost. So they do not really need to be worried about keeping how they will manage the technology, technology transfers, getting uh, getting someone to handle all of those things. So it's a complete peace of mind technology for the, con uh, the developers. They can utilize it for every project. It becomes an infrastructure providing booking ability online. And eventually this will be the source of all bookings that the developers will be doing and keeping a track of from in the online perspective. And the CRM will feed from here. So home select first of all works on mobile really well. Um, it is lightweight. Uh, it is redistributable. It's not that I, I will only run run the particular booking system on my own portal and you pay me money and I will keep you hostage for that. This comes at a technology that can you 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 can uh, be uh, keep on your own portal, redistribute to your uh, your uh, partners and keep a track of all the bookings coming from anywhere. It comes as a technology or product uh, platform as a service, uh, which. Over, overall, as the enhancements are happening, really helps you really well. The visualization definitely is world class and lightweight for the consumer to actually access it really well. Uh, inventory management happens here because uh, uh, right, if for all the other things that are ex available in the market, everyone uh, is more exclusive to themselves. And hence, the developer cannot really maintain all his inventory there and 
the challenge of fragmentation which was already existing by giving certain portions to certain partners gets magnified in today's world with all the other players trying to do the same online instead of that what we are trying to say this will be a single source of truth anyone can book from anywhere at any point of time uh, the entire tracking will be built in it will come as a technology as a service and you will be able to utilize it uh, as a single point window and not uh, really be worried about who i have given what allocation and everything else